Matplotlib is a really powerful module. However, when you first start, trying to do certain things can be a little bit complicated. We've written this cell below for you, and what it's doing is it creates a scatter plot between two of the variables in our data set and uses a different color for each species. It then adds a linear regression for each species. These are all things we've done before apart from the plotting. You don't need to understand this cell. What you need to see is that it takes us 44 lines to import our modules, create our figure, uh, analyze our data, add annotations to the figure, and then finally save it. And if I run this cell, I get a nice plot. Sepal length against sepal width, different color for each species, a title, and these linear regressions. But that's a lot of code. So that's why we're introducing you to Seaborn, which we think will make your life a little bit easier. So let's recreate the exact same plot by running this cell. So as you can see, I've got sepal width against sepal length, I've got a scatter of the data, and I've got my linear regressions. I've also got the error on my linear regression plotted automatically. And this took a total of 11 lines. In fact, the only bit that's really doing any plotting is this one line. So let's just go through what we're doing here. So we've imported Seaborn just like we would any other module, and people tend to use SNS as the alias for Seaborn. We're creating a plot using seaborn.lmplot, and if we just go to our favorite search engine, uh, which for me is DuckDuckGo, and search Seaborn lmplot, we'll quickly come across the documentation for it. So an LM plot plots data and regression models. And it has an awful lot of parameters. And many of these are optional. And just like any other documentation, they're all detailed here. If we go back to our actual code, you can see that we've used X, where we've given it a column name, sepal length, and Y, where we've given it the common name, column name, sepal width. We've told it that our data is stored in the variable iris, that was where we imported the data all the way up here at the top of the file. Then we've told it we would like hue or color to be controlled by the species column. We'd like the height of the figure to be five inches. Inches is typical in American publishing, which is why the packages still use that. And we've set this extra variable truncate equals true. And that parameter just says don't apply the regression lines beyond the actual data. So that stops us having orange lines over here where we don't have any orange data. If we go back to Seaborn, you could see that we could turn the legend off by setting legend to false. Uh, we could change how the, whether or not a scatter plot is drawn, whether or not we did fit, and also we can change various settings about how the fitting is done. But we're not gonna get into that right now. Just like other documentation, at the bottom of the page, there are several examples, each of which will teach you something new about this function.